Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley has stated the government did not execute a loan agreement with the International American Development Bank for 300 million U.S. dollars. Responding to questions by the opposition on Wednesday afternoon, he clarified that government has instead engaged in an agreement establishing a conditional credit line for individual loan agreements of up to 315 million U.S. dollars for projects over a 10-year period. Each application for financing will be dealt on a case-by-case -case basis over the next nine years and only if necessary. On March 7, 2023, a loan agreement was executed for 80 million US dollars to fund projects within the National Water Sector Transformation Project under this arrangement, which is ongoing as I have described, Madam Speaker. Prime Minister also gave an update on the appointment of a new Chief Executive Officer and Management Team at WASA. At this time, no executive appointment appointments have been made. The recruitment of a new CEO at the Water and Sewage Authority and Management Team is imminent. The new leadership team is expected to assume office in September, contingent on their acceptance of offers.